And hello again everybody, my name as always is Tyler and I'm back with some more shapes.io. So hopefully everyone's going to be doing well today. I am going to go ahead and pick up with where we left off in the last episode and see what we can go ahead and get done. Um, so, alright, so we've already started belting over our top right corners over to the left. And we can go ahead and start doing the same thing with our bottom left. So we just carry you on over, we carry you and you, and we'll need to figure out the best way to belt things over from there. Uh, one of the biggest things we're going to want to also deal with is start making our different die um, and since for right now we only need white die for this shape I don't know what could be all that much better than just go ahead and making it over here and then we'll go from there so I think that we might have a it might be a good idea to just go ahead and do similar type of setup where we start belting things into our main belt um, or into a main belt so I can have like the red going into one, green going into one, blue going into the other and then uh, that way I can go ahead and start pulling things off from there. Uh, so die might look a little something like this. So we'll go ahead and get you set up, and then you set up like that, and go ahead and make this easy on ourselves. We'll copy you, start bringing up the red, that can go into one, that can go into the other, there you go. And so now we've got two sources of production being taken care of on that end. We've got towards two sources of blue, two sources of green. So the first color that we need to make is just going to be white so we can blend all of them together. So let's copy this on over. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just start that nearby with that. And we'll take you like that. And we'll go ahead and do that, kind of split it a little bit. And you go there, you go there. And all we gotta do is just connect that up. There we go, cool. So now we've got that, and then we can pull in some green. And go, yeah, that's three, right, yeah. And now we just go ahead and scan you. And there we go. Cool. So now we've got plenty of that going on, and I realized I forgot to set my timer as always, so we'll go ahead and get that started. There we go. And so now let's go ahead and So we'll go ahead and just take you, copy, you like that, and then we can do a little bit of a larger group. Get all of that copied. And then we'll start working on producing the white dye. So all we gotta do now is split off over here. That was the wrong way. 
But yeah, so like I said, so I mean, luckily now that we can maybe do a little bit more with the belts than we've been doing before, uh, we'll come over here and I'm gonna want you and we can take, I wanna take off from that way. So we'll go ahead and start making our purple dye first. And all we gotta do is just belt it on underneath here. And then we can just keep doing the same song and dance we normally do. Get you going up like that. You can go curve upwards. And then that way we can just belt the green on over here, do the same process, and then we can just kind of funnel everything into the same area. Let's go ahead and take you like that. And let's go ahead and clean that up a little bit. That way, at least a little bit less in the way of belts. And we'll keep ourselves going here. So I want to make white dye, so I got to get one, we can go like that, and then we take you, one, two, and now we copy, one, two, three, four, and so these do two and a half, so we can support a max of eight, so there we go. As long as we keep that satisfied, that will be okay. And if we want to produce like even more purple, all we'd have to do is come over here and duplicate it. And then we just split off again. Go ahead and go up a little bit more like that. And... I want red coming in through here, so we'll split up like that, and that can split off like that. And all we gotta do is rebalance. So you can go into there, you can go into there, and there you go. So now we've got two sets of purple dye being made, and even with both running we should be able to just keep it well satisfied because we've got plenty of production of this going on, and as the belt's getting balanced everything is kind of going into one another, so if we wanted to we could copy this over and maybe say about here uh, actually we can go over this way so we'll go ahead and do that and all we got to do is hook up all of these nice and easy you can tell real progress is being made because I actually decided to uh, put all of them in the right direction instead of having it in the wrong direction and then putting it right back uh, but yeah so now we just copy all of this you know if I was a little bit smarter about it all I would need to do is just copy this top row and only have to do it once because then I just go boom and there we go and now all we need to do is belt it on down and around over here and we can start balancing out our purple so let's go ahead and grab you and we'll take you on over this way There we go, and actually, you know what, we can go ahead and just start curving it over here. Like 
go. Go like that for you, that for you, and that for you. Start go ahead and putting it on in this first one. Make sure that our corners are connected. And that will start going. And then we can copy this song right here. We'll see how that starts balancing out itself, and you'll notice that obviously it balances these two first because right now, even though it's balancing across all four, uh, this is the most direct route, so it goes through here, this fills up first, and then the other two will fill up again later. So now all we gotta do is just bring this on over as well. And we'll need to bring it just one slot closer because then we can curve down and just follow alongside the other one. Go ahead and go like that for you. Boom. And there we go. And... There you go. And... I guess pretty much if we need to fix it later, we can always do a little more work to reorganize our undergrounds, but there we go. So that way these, as long as we just keep extending this, we'll keep being able to produce more of the dye that we need. Uh, so now that we've got that, instead of building off over there, all I need to do is extend this a little bit. And luckily this is really where the uh, the copy and paste buildup is going to help us a lot because we've got a lot, a lot of resources to use for constantly expanding our systems. So... Let's go ahead and do same thing. So we'll copy both of these and we'll actually place it just right there. And so now, we just line that up, go down one, and then that means this one can be here. Make sure everything balances out. Those two, there we go. And then we turn. You go like that. You go like that. And then right into there. And then same deal where you go like that. You go there. And you go there, and you go there. And now all we gotta do is connect things, so let's go ahead and... Expand this a little bit. That way we know that we're keeping in line still. There we go. And those three, those three, and let me just double check my belt. So, I mean, already obviously I'm placing quite a few belts, uh, which I can go back and replace with undergrounds here shortly. Uh, just to kind of minimize, like I said, a normal performance. Uh, that's obviously one of the more important things for keeping things together, but... So... Yeah, so as you see, things are staying pretty well balanced so far. And I mean, we're only really using the production of one, so 
at least for right now. Uh, soon we can get it to be more, obviously, as we draw more off of it, but that will just take a little bit of time. So take you, and here we go, down one, and then that one can be there, balance you out, balance you out, and then we just go ahead and rotate a little bit, you go there, you go like that, you go like that, and... There you go. And if we stay along with this like belting system, uh, one, we can utilize production quite a bit more. Uh, it gives us the opportunity to just kind of keep moving in a certain direction and, you know, know where everything is, know what kind of stuff we got going on. And obviously it gives a lot of different opportunities to do things, so... Like if I wanted, I could actually just rebelt the white that's being produced here, and it can go into the main one, and then... You know, we can draw off from there. Which... Might end up doing anyways. Uh, I'm honestly just kind of hoping for this this to finish soon oh did i actually no i didn't delete that too soon did i if i did i did not mean to that is for sure no okay cool i am still delivering it i was worried that i i messed up and was not delivering this shape but we're good on that end uh I am excited to just kind of be able to destroy everything else, though. That way, give us one a little bit more space to work with, and then we can go from there. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, so we've got our white dye being produced. So we can go ahead and copy this here. And... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give it a little less distance to go, and we'll just... And, you know, this is fine over here. Because that won't run into anything as it goes up that way. So obviously once we finish producing this shape for this goal, and then the tier 5, we can actually get rid of this, and then we can expand our belt system to be however far wide we want. Uh, which obviously I should have thought about a little bit beforehand, but... You know, hindsight's 2020, and if anything can be said about this uh, entire year of 2020 is that there's a lot of uh, things that are coming up in hindsight, so uh, we will just kind of see how things go and work it out from there. Uh, actually, you know what? Speaking of, I'm going to change my mind yet again. We'll come over here, do that, and we'll just belt it on over directly to there. So, first things first, we'll take you. And go like that, and onto the other side, onto the other side, other side, and there we go. Go ahead and... Put you there. There we go. So that's one. And then we'll go ahead and just carry this on down to here. And then we'll carry that on to there. And there we go. And now both productions of white are going to be going through. That'll all be well balanced. Got plenty of purple coming through, got plenty of those. 
So now that we've got that done, we can start making some white circles. So we've got some production of circles close by. So let's go ahead and grab this. And let's say we will place it right here. And then we'll just take you And this one will be belted here. Take that and go from there. I'll actually go ahead and do that song and dance and that one. And now we've got three of them going into there and wouldn't be too hard to bring up a fourth one if I need it, but for right now we should probably be okay. So let's go ahead and take you, and we'll extend upwards. There we go. And so now what we need to do is grab ourselves some white dye, belt it a little over to here so we can then dye some circles and then we'll cut from there. So and like I said that uh, the belt number is jumping up pretty high pretty quickly uh, but let's actually just take a moment to actually you know what I want to see how many belts this game can support now so we're just gonna leave it. Do a little bit of experimenting uh, as is fun with these types of games so go ahead and bring you all up we will ah, what I was missing was the white deck so now that those are going we'll go ahead and split I don't know why I always want to place that one underneath there, but I always end up doing it and I'm like, ah, oh, no, wait, that's not where that's supposed to be. But, so now we bring you on over here. And circles have quite a ways to go still. So let's bring that on up and that on up. And now that's a little bit more in line. We're at 2,800 belts. I want to say that our last game was somewhere around like 3,000-ish. I do not remember what the belt count ended up being, but I think we're already catching up to where it was at last time. Uh, but yeah, so we'll take you and... Go ahead and just bring that on all up. We'll tunnel underneath it here. And let's see here. So we've got this going on here. Now there's somewhere where I'm dying stuff with our two shape setup, which is here. So we'll take you, we'll copy you. Come on over here. And there we go. Actually, you know what? let's go ahead and bring this on over a little bit further, just so we can kind of stay out of the way of some things. And We need to belt this into the bottom, and then our shape will get belted into the top. We'll go ahead and do that, and 
There we go. So you'll get started filling with pot. And I just need to fill over here. Which is just one slot up, so... Go and go, boom, boom. Like I said, as always, just keep placing it underneath instead of above, but that's okay. Go ahead and turn it down, and there we go. Go ahead and move you like that, and now we've got those starting to produce. Oh, no, wait, I'm supposed to put it into the top one, so actually... It's okay if we're this one. Let's go ahead and get you started on over here. There we go. Cool. So we've got ourselves some white circles starting to be made. And then so obviously it was like when it comes to belts, we want to try and use more broad um, What's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, we want to use some more broad Broadly applicable items. So obviously I don't want to dedicate like a bunch of belts to like corner squares or corner circles or whatever but you know like we can pretty much always make use of purple dye and white dye and all like our dyes all of our basic shapes uh, and then be able to go from there so what if we so we can use this production and we can push it out over here and what I want to do is cut them into four pieces. And we'll go ahead and bring you down over here. Go ahead and balance that. Take you. And now that we've got our four corners, we just need to rotate, so top left and bottom right, so top left, that just needs to go one more that way, and that's bottom right, and then actually, you know what, no, if we do this smartly, we can actually just combine from here, so top left and Okay, never mind. I was right. So top left, bottom right. We want that to be top left and bottom right. And then when we take advantage of this, we'll start making both of those same shapes. And there you go. So just from this source, we can... Uh, I was like, and we could actually copy this a couple of times and we just have to do the input and then the rest will do the work for us. Let's see. And so what, we need eight, oh, it's actually three and a quarter, or sorry, three and a third. Um, so in order to do 20 So it's like we need six so we could just do this one Two and three and We would have six doing the work for us There we go And as long as we're producing enough white circles, we're totally fine Only thing I'm trying to think of is the best way to combine everything. I think since we have it coming in the bottom, we might have a better time with going up. Oh, I know. 
the easy solution is that. There we go. So that way both will just kind of merge onto one. And then we merge you on over again this way. And there we go. And like I said, if we wanted to, we could just copy along this line. Go ahead and do that the same way again. All we need to do is come down like this, rotate like that, and then we just need to plug in some more of our uh, required shapes. So if we want, I want white dye here, we're gonna come all the way over. And then when we bring this on up, we want that, I believe. And then we go boom, boom, boom. Sorry, like that. And that keeps our four. And then we hook everything up. There we go. So now we've got our white deck going for that. And we just need our circles to go up top. And as you can see, I was like, right now with the way that it's set up, this is still staying pretty good. And both sides over here are moving, even though really only this one is the one that's actively moving. So it's kind of cool to watch it in action. So I think I need you there, and then we'll go ahead and belt that on up, that on up, that on up, and this one up too. And then all we gotta do is Plug in the rest of our splitters. And there we go. So, like I said, now we have two separate sets of all of that being pushed through. And then we can combine the production of those and start making uh, a lot more of this shape than we would have if I just focused on producing one that so fully satisfies the belt. So we'll do that for you. And we're getting pretty close to be able to actually combine everything together. So with that said, I'm going to see and call it here for today. Hopefully you enjoyed if you did watch this all the way through. Um, leave a like down below, helps me out, lets me know that I'm doing some of the right things at least, and hopefully providing some entertaining content. Um, subscribe if you want to see one of these content in the future, leave any comments to engage, and thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.